matrices and inverses of matrices. <coughs> so you can only talk about an inverse of a square matrix, okay? In other words, a matrix that's 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 4 by 4. Can't talk about an inverse of a 2 by 3 or a 5 by 2, okay? Doesn't make sense. So the notation for the inverse of a matrix is this, a to the minus 1, okay? And it's kind of analogous to like 3 and 3 to the minus 1 are inverses of each other because if you times the two of them, you get a 1. Well, in matrix notation, it's very similar, okay? Matrix notation is very similar. Remember what I told you what this is called? That's an identity matrix, okay? So it's equivalent to the number 1 in scalar world, okay, scalar world. And for matrices, there is a gotcha in the sense that both of these have to be true. This has to be true, and so does this. Both of these have to be true. Unlike this, okay? Because in scalar land, you know that scalars, what's the technical word? Starts with a C. O, M, M, U, T, E. Commute under multiplication. Remember I've told you that? Okay. Matrices don't necessarily commute under multiplication. But for two matrices to be inverses of each other, both of these must be true. Okay, if only one is true, then it's not an inverse. It's some funky matrix. Okay, so my claim to you is that these two are inverses of each other. Prove it. How are you going to do it? Prove it. Yeah. Just do it. Okay, to find inverses of matrices, there are several methods of finding inverses, okay? There's one method in the book on page 542. I want you to take a look at it, only because it's a pretty DA way of doing it. Page 542, sorry? Nice. Okay, page 542. Alisa, did you say it? Sabina, say it. Page 542 on your textbook. Okay? It's a pretty ugly way of finding an inverse. So don't study it too long. It's not worth it. Okay, it's a pretty DA. Okay, here's another way of doing it. Except it's going to involve gauss jordan style. It's going to be work. Yeah. Identity. One, zero, zero, one. Okay, I'll work with you in a few minutes when I'm done with this. All right, so the other way of doing uh, matrix inverse is this method. Now, you don't want to do this for a 2 by 2 matrix, okay? But I'm going to just show you how you do it for a 2 by 2. Uh, this is probably more uh, relevant for finding a 3 by 3 inverse, okay? For 2 by 2, there's going to be yet another way of doing it. Okay? So, All right, so what you want to do is you want to take the original matrix, augment it by putting an identity matrix here, okay? And then massage this thing so that this guy becomes 1, 0, 0, 1. And then your inverse is going to show up here. Your inverse will show up here. And you're going to do the massaging a la gauss jordan Okay? You guys with me on that? All right, let's uh, work on that then. Okay, so step one. Ah! 
up where? Because my head was in the way? No, don't you need the A to pick it? Don't I need what? Here's the A. But it's right there. It's right there. Okay. Um, what happened to this? Okay. All right, step one. Uh, I'm going to make this. Uh, so take minus one times R1 into R1. Just to make that a one right off the bat. Okay. So that's going to be 1, 2, 1, oops, my bad, uh, minus, minus, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Step 2, I'm going to make this guy, this minus 1 is 0, by doing R1 plus R2 into R2. So then I get 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0. This guy becomes a 0. This guy becomes a minus 1. Uh, this guy becomes a minus 1. This is a 1. Is it on that? Okay. Step 3. I'm going to make this negative 2 a 0. So I'm going to do uh, negative 2 times R2 plus R1 into R1. So if I times this by negative 2, this leaves unchanged. This becomes a 0. This becomes a 1. This becomes a minus 2. And the bottom row does not change. You with me on that? What do you think the next step should be? Nice. Good job. Negative 1 uh, times R2 into R2. And that gives me 1. 0, 1, negative 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 1. And my claim is that this is the inverse. Is that what I had before? No? Well, what should you really do? What should step 5 really be? Nice, good job. Check for inverses. Okay, that's what I call the no smoking test. Okay, so everybody there? All right, so you can imagine that doing this on a three by three. Okay, imagine doing that on a three by three.